Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the channel, The Shotgun Shogun, and it's Wednesday, my dudes, which means it's patch notes time. That's right, this week though is going to be a little on the light side, uh, mostly because while we finished up the Valentine's Day event, we've gotten a bunch of new heroes, we've got a bunch of information coming, um, and we're kind of in a holding pattern now after this, although I think that there's going to be a lot of big stuff upcoming here really real real soon in the future but that's just a lot of speculation there so we'll leave that behind but what are we getting this week well we already know that we're going to be getting quirk um and he has been on a bunch of people's list for a long time since he came into the game there were some people who were splooshing all over this both guys and girls because this guy is dropping vagina panties everywhere just in his wake he literally walks into a room and everybody is immediately pregnant from the sheer the sheer just choleric anyways Let's get on with the rest of this. Kawarika Fire Elemental Mage, who's called Bloody Contract Killer, is here to meet you. He can make a battle more favorable for your team by increasing the school skill, the school kill down, the skill cooldown of an opponent. Now, we've already looked at this last time. I did a video on this a little bit, but we're going to watch this again. Why? Because we are. Where's the normal, where's the normal English VA dude that does these videos? Okay, anyways, I thought this was going to be the, the nice, um, voiced dude from North America. He's got a good voice. He wakes me, you know, wakes me up in the morning. I, I'm like, hmm. It's time for some new hero video ASMR. But anyways, let's take a look at his skills here. So working at his skill one, uh, spatial relocation, approaches the enemy through subspace and attacks with a 50% chance to silence for one turn. Damage done increases proportional to the caster's speed. Now this can go up to, uh, what is that, another 25%, 75% chance? Uh, not bad, not bad at all for a, a one turn silence, which is pretty big. Pretty big. The dimensional corridor draws the enemy into subspace and attacks with a 75% chance each to dispel one buff before increasing skill cooldown by one turn twice. Increases speed of the caster for two turns. Damage dealt increases proportional to the caster's speed. Now you can get this up to a 100% chance, which is pretty priority. I think that you should 100% do that 100% chance so s3 uh dimensional explosion locks all enemies within subspace before triggering an explosion penetrates defense by 30 percent when the caster is granted increased speed damage dealt proportional to the caster's speed now the way i think you're going to need to play him is you're going to want to open with s2 right you're going to want to go in on the bizarre because that's pretty much what this guy is made for literally they were just wanting to make a big middle finger for bizarre because everybody uh, hates bizarre in pvp because well he sucks so realistically i think that this is how you're gonna do it you're gonna do an s2 right and then you're gonna lap around and then you're gonna do your s3 to cleave everybody else i don't think that you're gonna want to open with s3 because in terms of cleavers i'm pretty sure that you can do better and honestly let's just take a look at it real quick we're on Quaric here uh no artifact proc uh, let's just say, what is his base, uh, what was his base, uh, stats here? Um, it does not show them, uh, let's see where they are. I should have them somewhere, but I don't, uh, they don't show it anywhere. Oh, they, no, do they not even show it here? Guys, come on. If you're introducing a character, show me some, show me some base stats, homies. Uh, but anyways, I'm pretty sure it was around like 13, 1300 or something like that. Let's just say you get him up to the 3000, 3000 attack. All right. Or I know somebody's going to be like, 
you're so dumb. How you can't get it? Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, the three hundred percent crit damage because well, just you're gonna put your C Dom gear on him, right? Uh, and we're just doing this for numbers purposes. Now we're gonna say we have elemental advantage and we lapped back around, so we've got increased attack because of course you want to have increased attack. Uh, so on the S three, we're gonna max this bad boy out. Um, and we're going to max out the S2. We're going to be going here. Do we have increased, uh, increased speed? Boom. There you go. Um, this actually, I don't know if this is right. Can this, is this right? Like, does he really do only do like 10 K per target on his S3 with do, critting for 17,000? On his S2 single target, um, eh, this seems this seems off. If that's the case, oh, we did we didn't do speed, so uh, let's do um, eh, let's have him at 250 speed, and then target speed. Let's say the target speed is 245. Not that I'm sure. Not that I know what that does. Was does that even change anything? No. Okay, so a little bit better on this on the speed here. Uh 245. Okay, it adjusts uh the S2. So if we go back here and look at the S2, uh damage D dealt is increases proportional to the target speed. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh early in the morning. It is six six ten. Uh, bright and early. So uh, that's still at like 250, even with increased speed, uh, 3,000 attack, 300 crit damage. That S3 damage is real, real weak. Uh, I might be missing something here, but if you're putting five points into, if you're putting all your points into your S3, even... If we crank it up to 3,500, that's still only 12, uh, 12 there. Let's say we can get him to 260 speed, which most people don't. Uh, you're only looking at like 12.5K on each person. That's not very good at all. Now, his single target damage uh, against like a Bussar is going to be pretty good. But that S3 damage is pretty, pretty crappy. Um, I mean, it does pen defense by 30%. Um, does it have the damage reduction, damage transfer? Um, let's see. Where's my defense pen? No damage reduction. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, well, regardless, um, even even still, even at 30% damage reduction or uh, defense reduction, I don't think that that's going to do that much. And that's a lot of gear enhancement. And you got to lap him around again. So, I mean, if you're thinking, oh, I'll have him go first and then I'll bring in Oxlots and then I'll push him forward again and then cleave with him. I don't think that's going to work. Now, I might be completely off base here. I might, I probably am, and I'm probably not looking at this right. But that S3 seems preposterously weak. Um for what you're going to be doing. I mean, a lot of other characters with less investment can do that much damage. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just not looking at it right. Uh, but regardless, um, his S2 is going to be there to shut down Basar, basically. Um, do I think that he's a must roll? I don't personally think so because you're just going to want to build him super fast and that's the other thing too is if you're building him like ridiculously fast uh you ain't getting to like 35 3500 300 crit damage and like 260 speed i somebody somewhere might be able to do that vast majority of people are not going to be able to do that um a little little weird on the kit i think that I, I understand what they were trying to go for, but I don't know that this is it, Chief. Um, his artifact, Black Hand of the Goddess, Mage Exclusive Artifact, raises its basically reverse proof of valor. Yeah. Or not proof, not reverse. It's proof of valor, but for crit, right? So it starts you out at a high crit, um, increases your hit, critical hit chance by 12%. 
and then reduces it every time you attack. Uh, that's at base, 24% at the, at the top end. So that's like one of these artifacts where if you were going for a you know, uh, more, br uh, more damaging build. You could negate some of the loss of critical hit damage here by putting this on personally. I think you're going to want to go with like a crown so that you can, uh, also stun the Basar, And then you'd also have cleave stun, um, could put in, um, I don't know. I really, I really don't know what artifact would be the best for him, but that's what we're getting. Uh, we're going to get the rate up. It's going to come at um, re reset 10 p.m. Eastern. Depends on where you're at. That's what time it is for me. Uh, there's not going to be any maintenance, so it's just going to boom pop up there. We are going to get also get his side story, um, which will be good because I mean, you know, we got more stuff to farm, right? It's going to be a silver side story. Two weeks, easy peasy. Um, we are going to get Demon's Blood Gem, Eternal Forest Dust, and Flames of Soul in this. No gimmicks like the the album stuff. Just straight up, here is your side shop on this. Um, and so it's going to be a pretty chill week. Uh, there's not going to be too much going on. There is the uh, statistics that were added for the Abyss Floors. Um, and so that is pretty much what is going on. Let me take a look real quick to see if they updated anything here in the time that I have been talking. Um, I don't see anything new. So that's pretty much what we've got there. I think I'm doing something wrong on this because that seems just real, real poop, like real poopy compared to like, yeah, I don't know. I, I still, I think that this is a lot of, this is a lot of, uh, stats right there if you're trying to make him stupid fast as well so we'll see how he plays out i'm personally not rolling for him because i think that there's going to be collab characters coming real soon um i did roll a little bit for charlotte because of more hype for ml charlotte um and actually i'm interested what i'm interested to see is what rbg character is going to be on the mystic banner with ml charlotte so we should find that out uh, later on tonight as well. So anyways, guys, let me know. Are you guys going to be rolling for Quirk? Um, do you think he's going to be this game changer or is he just Husbando? Uh, let me know. I'm sure somebody can point out too that I was doing the calculator wrong. Um, I blame being super tired and just being wrong a lot. But anyways, guys, I do appreciate everything that you do for me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I'm not your real dad, but you know, we could, we can, we can pretend if that's, if that's what's, if that's what you're into. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I'm sure I probably have some other, like seven other videos to do today. Um, and we'll look forward to live in Japan polls for ML Charlotte from Japanese people. Maybe, I don't know. We'll see what we get. Anyways, I'll catch you later, homies. Peace.